so today is my day off um, and I'm in my house and it's about time for Sadie's monthly acupuncture session so Sadie is you know approximately a nine-year-old Labrador um, she has hip dysplasia with pretty severe osteoarthritis um, you know we've been managing it for about six months to a year now and she started out really just hobbling around she wasn't able to get around too well she's made improvement um, she was on NSAIDs a drug called gabapentin and joint supplements of course but she was just significantly overweight so one thing that has really helped her is decreasing her daily calorie intake um, joint supplements still moderate exercise and she if she needs NSAIDs I'll certainly still do it but since I've been doing acupuncture with her um, and working on other things she's done really well so today I figured I'd just kind of show you I'm gonna do acupuncture on her obviously I'm in my own home but just want to kind of show you what it's about maybe this would be a typical acupuncture session with me um, every acupuncturist does things differently but it's it may be cool um, you may like it if you have questions I'm happy to kind of explain more about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it but there's a lot that goes into it so I'll just kind of kind of show you you know I'm gonna place a few points and we'll see how much she lets me do today sometimes she gets a little anxious sometimes she she doesn't want me to put as many as normal um, if I get about six to eight with her I'm happy some dogs let me get you know 20 to 30 which is a lot but with her I'm just kind of doing it monthly now she's doing really well she's no longer on NSAIDs or pain medication um, she's just on joint supplements she's lost a significant amount of healthy weight and she's getting around a lot better now so I'll go ahead and start um, and we'll see how much she lets me do So the first point I always do um, is kind of a calming point. Um, it's right here. It's called GB20. Um, I put it in the forehead, and that's what I usually start with with them. Um, and I don't know if you can see it from here, but that's usually what I'll start. I'll kind of let it cook, do its thing while I'm still talking to the owner, just to settle them down. Sometimes the car ride is a little bit um, anxiety-inducing, and they're just a little worked up when they get to me. So. That's what I always start with, and that's the last one I take out as well. And these needles here are all sterilely packaged. I don't know if you can really see it, but they're all sterilely, individually packaged. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people worry about, you know, you're putting a needle in the skin. I mean, it's, it's very safe, um, and they seem to tolerate it really well. Did you feel it? She's very sensitive to this. She, you know, a lot of patients, they don't care at all, but she's, she always knows when I'm doing something. Are you coming to check on her? And then here's Asher coming. He's jealous he's not getting any, apparently. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. Want to see you? Good girl. That's very good. Are you smiling at me? Are you smiling at me? You're doing so good. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, buddy. You gotta watch out, okay? I know. That's a good girl. Oh. That's a good girl. Good girl. Yeah, that's 
avec le cœur. No, I don't want you to eat that. No, ma'am. You leave it in there. Yeah, you leave it in there. <laughs> That's a very good thing. Okay. Put one over here, okay? That's a good girl. Don't you eat it. So I've only put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five in so far. She's doing just fine with it. I could probably put a lot more, but since this is just for maintenance for her, um, I'm not gonna push it too much. Every time I do this, I try to make it to where, um, you know, least stress as possible. Because if they're stressed out, the acupuncture is not gonna, it's really gonna be negligible in my opinion. So. You know, yeah, I could hold her, get someone to hold her down. I could put in 50 points if I wanted to, but the benefit from that's not going to be what I'm aiming towards. So as much as she'll let me do um, is kind of where I'm going to go, and I'll let her be the judge of that for me. Um, ideally, with something like osteoarthritis, I would use my electroacupuncture unit, but unfortunately, it's at work, um, so she's just going to get the dry needles today, and she still gets great benefit from it, but... With the electro unit, a lot of times we can do, um, you know, up the intensity and the stimulation of the actual acupoints, um, and it seems to kind of, kind of help increase that response, the the healing response that they get. So, I may put a few more needles in, but ultimately she'll relax. She can walk around if she wants, but she's probably just gonna lay here um, for the next 15 or 20 minutes and let these needles do their job. Um, she'll let me know when she wants me to take them out, I'll take them out, and she'll go back to living her life. She may sleep a little bit better today. Um, she may want to go run around. I don't know. Some of them react differently, but um, typical treatment session lasts about 15 to 20 minutes once I get the needles in. Um, and other than that, she probably won't get another one of these for at least another week, but I've been doing it about once a month for her with pretty good results. Ideally, with acupuncture, we kind of start, you know, more sessions, and then as we improve and time progresses, we kind of push each session back. So with her, I started about twice a week, and now we're at once a month, and that's just because, you know, I'm an acupuncturist, and, and I can do that. She may not even need it that much, but she seems to like it. She puts up with me. Um, she has her moments, but... As you can see, she's just laying down. Asher's there giving her some attention too. So she'll sit with that for the next 15 minutes and then we'll take them out and she'll be good to go. So if you like this or if you have questions, if you want to know more, um, let me know. I mean, I'd be happy to teach people more about this and just let them know that it is another option for animals, especially if, you know, they have painful conditions like arthritis and they have you know, kidney or liver dysfunction and they can't use all of the pain medication safely that they might need, acupuncture is a great option for, for animals like that. They're perfect candidates for this type of treatment. So again, if she needed an inset at this point, I would still gladly put her on that because I want her to be comfortable, but she's been doing really well off of it. So I think if I keep doing, you know, monthly treatments with her, we can keep her off those medications. But again, I think that acupuncture works best with Western medication. I, I'm a big, huge proponent for that. That's probably 90% of what I do, but this is also something that is another tool that I do offer people um, for certain patients that really can benefit from it. So if you like it, if you have questions, let me know. I'd be happy to, to do more of these videos or to you know answer your questions.